you know what I'm in the mood for today? Some coconut curry chicken. Do you mm. have any? It just so no, happens I you do. No, I do not have any. <laughs> Let's see what you got there. Coconut curry chicken. This is really, really good. It doesn't taste anything like uh, a homemade dish. I think this tastes like you're at a restaurant and uh, having. And how do you know that? Well, because I did give a little taste, ah, quality you control. Did. You know what I do because I'm a giver? What? Sometimes I actually sample it ahead of time to make sure that it's okay for you. I appreciate that, Karen, because one time I sampled it and it was not that great. And uh, <laughs> we had to go back to the drawing board. But mm. Did you get the vegetables? No, but this oh, you, is uh, you, you very, very, just... this is comfort food. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good? That, that's like zucchini. No, oh, it's like zucchini. It's so it's like zucchini, like you could call it zucchini. That's amazing. It is good. Now, tell me, the, the vegetables are cooked. Yeah. Is it still nutrient dense or what happens there? It depends on how long it's cooked, and so you're going to get a little bit, but you're also going to get some fiber to uh, feed your uh, microbes so they can make butyrate, which will help your colon cells, give you energy, exactly what you wanted to know. That's exciting. You lost me at butyrate. Energy. It'll give you okay. energy. So in other words, this is good for you? Yes. Yeah. And it's also good for insulin resistance. And there you have it. I think you should try it. What do you think? I think so. Okay, check it out.